And we're back, everybody. Let's go ahead and play some more Zelda now. I'm all set up. I got my gamepad plugged in and charging. Let's do a quick check chat. You hear any background noise? So I'm making sure all these filters working just fine. Okay, just checking my controls. It would seem that Ganon sent those monsters to this place. But that would mean... There's no time to lose. We must depart at once for the place where the next pearl sleeps. We sail to the south. Um, I need to change the wind direction, though. Okay. Let's go. No noise? Sounds good. Sounds good, sounds good. Uh. Weird. I can't just rotate- I can't just point a direction. I have to press left and right like it's tank controls. That is a really weird decision. I am almost positive the original didn't do that. Okay. They make it so that the you need to make the wind go south as a way to kind of just guide you into, um, picking up the, the first wind's requiem thing. There was a thing there, but it doesn't matter. Oh, the D-pad automatically sets the, the treasure thing. That's good. Oi! Hold it right there, small fry. How's game audio, too? Good. Don't know where you got your mitts on that C chart you got there. It looks to me like it's pretty much got nothing but C's drawn on it. It's pathetic. In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a C chart, if you ask me. What's the matter, small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm telling you that you got a problem. And you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. Makes you look like you ought to be in diapers. Just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what I know about this island. So open up your sea chart and make it snappy. The smell of salt water. I'm imagining right now I hate. Oh, that jingle sounds different and off to me. Game audio is good. I'm a little bit louder. I had it turned down just in case. Better lower than higher. I'll just turn it up slightly. How about that? There's a real peculiar cave toward the backside of this here Dragon Roost Island. Yep, real peculiar, but I doubt you'll ever get there to see it, small fry. Unless you manage to sprout wings and fly, that is. Because you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can teach you. But this will do for you, since I'm feeling so generous. I'll send word to all my brethren living near the islands of the Great Sea. Good, bun good bunch of fish. You see a fish leaping out of water when you sail near an island. Sail up to it and spread bait on the water surface. Trust me, it's good advice for, uh, fry. No small fry. See, the baiting process allows you to get a chart of the island, along with any info that might be of use to you. I highly recommend you make a habit of doing so. See, you're definitely going to need a reliable sea chart to help you search for things out at sea. Can't emphasize that enough, Fry. You need a well-drawn chart. If you don't get a chart for every island you come across, it'll just be a bigger hassle for you later on. And don't say I never did anything for you, Fry. Oi, you there. You kingly red lion guy. That's it. I've repaid my debt. I'm done. You take care of the rest. I wonder what that's about. That's never, like, explained anything, like, ever. Okay. Let's check down here. Oh, this map needs to stop. There we go. I can see the map on the, on the bottom screen here. Of the gamepad. Let's see. Oh, there's Fire Island. I've got bait set. For now, we want to keep going south. Okay. Let's fill out the chart so we know where everything is. Oh, a small fry. Yeah, yeah, I heard. I take it you want to chart and information about this island. And start by opening up your sea chart. Who are these fish and why can they talk? I have no clue. Fire Mountain. At least it shows you guys the chart. See that there volcano spewing out lava like there's no tomorrow? Yeah, well they say there's a great treasure hidden inside that thing. Thing is, everyone who's ever tried to get inside has just been blasted away by the great balls of fire that come shooting out the top. 
you want to get inside, you ought to go find the island that's one square north and four squares west of here. That's where the power to freeze anything is hitting. Or so they say. Maybe it's not true, but it wouldn't hurt to look. And that's all the info I got. I can't get the uh, the arrows for that until I uh, I need the, the cyclone warp thing. That's the only part where it's mandatory to get that. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, that's the policy. Can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know? With that, I'm off. All right. So, we don't have to worry about the volcano. That's not until way, way later in the game. Okay. So, according to the chart, I'm going pretty much to the other side of the map. I believe we're going right to the forest. I may as well stop here. So why the hell not? I made the wind go south, and I've ruined, like, all of nature for some reason by doing that. Maybe, who knows? I can't swim, so the idea of just hopping into the ocean like that is so bad. So, so bad. Okay. Let's get my controls ready, chat. Look at that bloom. Fries your eyes, doesn't it? Hello, you. Oh, wait, I should do this. Yeah. Guarantee drop. Okay. Make sure I do that. How many of those did I have again? Let me check. Uh, 18. Oh, yeah, I won't have to worry about that. I knew I had a lot. Okay, switch it back to C chart. I didn't need to pause the game for that. I keep forgetting. A yellow rupee. Oh, whoopee. The joy pendant was worth more. You need all, all those um, jo uh, 20 joy pendants towards uh, the, like one of the last parts of the game. And if you don't have them, it's annoying as hell to grind. And sort my items while we sail, at least. Um, how much bait do I have? Okay, I have a total of seven baits to spread. So I gotta get some more from Beetle when I can. Chat, I did change the category, right? I forgot if it actually says Wind Waker now. That's one of the great fairy islands. Can't do anything there, though. Cool, cool. And now, it's quiet. So I figure we'll just go for a bit, chat. Take it easy. Unwind. Oh, good. Cyclones. I literally can't do anything if I come across the major cyclone, so... Oof. Hang on, I see the I see the fish. I'm gonna go over there and get this marked. I wonder how much did they change uh, regarding like the draw distance for the HD version? I don't. I remember it look looking pretty good with loading things in before. Oh, I know what island this is. Yet though, just gotta get close. Hit the thing. Close enough to lock on, I should be fine. Categories updated. Okay, thank you, Bambi. Oi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I heard. I take it you want chart and information. Start by opening up your C chart. Because it was good at kind of like uh, loading in like the sil just the silhouette of the island and make it look better as you got closer. Tell me, small fry, have you ever caught a fairy before? Is what, what I've been told when you've been beaten to a pulp by monsters and such, and you think you finally met your match. You got a fairy with you, then you don't got nothing to worry about. But you wish you had something handy for carrying fairies around with you. Hydrate, don't worry. If you want one, go south from here until you see a miserable-looking submarine floating on the sea. Look there. Oh, that's right, one of the bottles. Yeah, I should get that. Someone redeemed hydrate, so I need a drink. And that's all the info I got to offer. You want to hear it again? You'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Same stuff. Okay. Stay away from the cyclone. Stay away from the cyclone. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Stay away from me. Okay. 
Eastern Triangle Isle. Here we go. Go south until you see a miserable submarine. It's funny because I never really found that empty bottle when I was young. I kind of just like skipped a bunch of the islands and didn't bother filling out the thing. Hang on, I should put some more uh, bait on. Hang on, I don't need to pause. What am I doing? There we go. Okay. Can't do the rock stuff yet. Come on. What's the significance of these here? Is there money on them or what? Yeah, I can't do anything here until I got bombs. Zelda games just encourage you to... Oh, hang on. Dude there. In a mailbox. It's the Hoi guy with the telescope. Basically tell you, look at that. Ooh, would you think that over there? There would be such a container. Yeah, he's talking about the empty bottle in the submarine. I can't be the only one. As a kid, like... I was confused by a lot of the chart stuff, and I just kind of, like, sailed, and I didn't, like, get it until, like, later in the game that you really should be checking for stuff. <laughs> Oi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I heard. You want chart and information? Start by opening it up, buddy. Bomb Island. Yeah, I told you I needed something there. A little something there. You gotta come sail on these seas on nights when the right half of the moon is missing. Give you shivers, Fry. That's all the info I got. He talked about the ghost ship. If you wanna hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, it's my policy. Can't go fight an evil on an empty stomach. Okay. There we go. Let's head over here. Submarine just hanging around. I don't think a wooden submarine sounds like a good idea, but that's just me. Can't see me. What is that noise? You hear that, like... There was, like, a dun-dun-dun. I feel like that's added to this version. I don't remember that. Well, whatever. It's fine. Last time I did this was, like, when I was playing the randomizer, just looking for stuff. Do that. Hey! I lost too many rupees from that. Jeez. rats infinitely spawn, it should be okay. Come on. There's the thing. The music that's playing right now, it's like a remix of the, um... Like, what, the cave theme? From Ocarina Majora? You got an empty bottle. Here we go. That's what we need. And there's something else up there, but how do you get up there again? I don't remember. Or are you not able to do that? I can't quite recall. It looked like there was. Or maybe they just reused the pirate ship map and they left that there. I don't know. I honestly can't remember. Is there a way to climb up there? Can you hookshot the wood or something? Oh, this is gonna bother me. Alright, hopped in the boat. Let's go. 
I may as well grab that treasure there. Okay. Okay. Give me, give me stuff. So, the Wind Waker randomizer has some pretty brutal settings where you can have all these chests randomized within the pool. So, you could have to search the ocean to find, like, the hookshot or something in here. That sounds like it would be really, really rough, but also pretty chaotic for a thing. Okay. They made the trawling really fast now. Okay, I didn't know that. It's good. Can use the spyglass to see if there's something in that room. I should have done that. I should have used the telescope for that, but I did not. Okay, that's Bomb Island. We're in the sector I actually need to be in now. Hey! I don't need to get that over there. But I know that the larger things of light are the uh, things you have a chest for. Yes, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? This is where you must go, the Forest Haven. It's gonna take me right over. I wanted to go to the fish first, please. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean's surface. But it is a sacred place. It is inside this grotto you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku Tree. You must speak with the Deku Tree and receive Faror's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached the most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Link. Alright, but where's the, um... Wait, no, where are you going? Where are you going? Hang on. Don't you go anywhere. First, I need to buy some bait from you so I'm prepared. Okay. I'm probably gonna get a bunch of rupees as I explore in here anyway. So this is like my last opportunity to spend for a bit. So I may as well use the opportunity to just kinda... Yeah, just one more for now. Just to make sure I have a bunch for filling out the Z chart later. Okay. But first, before we go anywhere... Where is he? I saw the fish around here. No! Oh, you piece of crap. I just wasted that. Cool. Let me just, um... Let me just put this on R for something. Ugh. There he is. Okay, now let me put it on carefully. I'm so mad, I just bought some too. Okay. Oi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I heard. No, I'm not gonna do the fancy thing. I'm not doing 100%. That would be, um... 100% Wind Waker would take, like, an eternity. Not as interesting as Majora for that. Just a wee bit north of here on Bomb Island, I've seen a merchant of incredible girth with a monstrous pack on his back. Now, what could he be doing on that lonely little island? I tell you, there's some strange folk in the world. That's all the info I got to offer. Alright. They all say the same thing at the end. Oh, I didn't mean to jump to my death in the ocean. Let's get back over there. Beetle shop ship just hanging around there. How does Beetle survive there? You think it must be a rough life at sea for him? Oh my god, get, get out of the way. Okay. He eats the bait and pears, I guess. Still, it can't be comfy to go around like that. probably get these. I don't remember what I need these for. Boko Baba Seed. Source the evil plant's magic. 
And I missed one. Oh well. Game audio is still a good chat. Oh, come on now. Let's just steal things from him. Okay. Still a good thing I can gyro this. Octorock. Not gonna worry too much about him. I can legally just ignore you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Perfect. That was easy, now wasn't it, chat? And we're already here! Right off the bat. All I really did along the way was get a bottle and sea chart stuff. I remember that this part actually took me on, like, an eternity to figure out. Here we go. No. Like, I was stuck at, like, sitting here for, like, over an hour trying to figure out what to do during this part. But hang on. First, we're here. Jellies. Gooey friends. All over his face. So, like, I couldn't figure out what to do. There's jellies on this guy. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? You just have to roll into his roof. I forget if the King of Red Lions, like, contacts you to tell you anything about it. Can't recall. I have no idea what you're saying. I must apologize. I was in error. I saw your clothing and suddenly I felt a longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the ancient tongue to pass my lips. I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven, the Deku Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of these foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? So it is true. Then you have come here because you have need of the Pearl of the Goddess. I see. I knew there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Horrocks, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. Are the little friends showing up? Ooh. Check him out, chat. They're coming down! What do you call yourself? Link? Well then, Link. These are the Koroks, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took on human forms, but when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. He's talking about the Kokiri. Now they fear people, but to me, they will ever be my cherished little children. As it happens, you've come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold, but once every year. It is about to begin. I shall grant you the pearl to you once their ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate could befall us. So let it begin. Are you ready, my children? We are not. Oh, great Deku Tree, something terrible has happened. It's Makar. Makar! What is the matter, Linder? You and Makar are always late. No, it's not that. Oh, great Deku Tree. Makar fell into the Forbidden Woods. What? The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful, but still Makar flew above the Forbidden Woods as he drew close to it. Foolish little Makar. Dang, er, I, bleh, I, like, bit my tongue there. Ouch. Link, you have heard all this. The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hallowed island of our forest haven. Those woods, the whole region is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. 
right now, it seems. They have taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? But, Great Deku Tree, people cannot fly through the air! Ah oh, yes, thank you, child. You are right. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Link, I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my Korok children, yet I think we may still be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. The leaf. Hmm. Forgive me, Link, but could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from up there? There we go. I remember being angry trying to complete this part as well, because I couldn't get the flowers to work right for some reason. So let's see a repeat of that happen. Okay. Now I'm nervous. I probably just jinxed it. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, I just sort myself. I gotta go land on here first. Wow, you're quite good at that, Mr. Knight. Just keep doing that until you get all the way to the top. If you shoot out face in the wrong direction, don't panic. If you don't tilt L in any direction, you'll land safely back in the Baba Bud. You saw the title Wind Waker, but somehow thought it was, uh, it was Breath of the Wild. Okay. Uh, oh, the grapple hook. I didn't see that. Okay. Probably because we're used to seeing all the Koroks in Breath of the Wild now, I would say. I mean, how can you not be nervous? Look how high up you are. It feels so bad if you fall. Oh. Uh, this is making me, like, dizzy look to, just to look at. Okay, get it. You got the Deku Leaf. Set it and use it with Y, X, or R. Plant your feet on the ground and use it to blow blasts of air at objects and enemies. You can also jump in the air and use your magic power to drift on the currents of wind. Swordsman, over here! Please, you must fly from over there to here using your Deku Leaf. Okay. Uh, right. I gotta switch. It's on the map screen. I just gotta switch this myself. Okay. It's all fine like that. I guess I can just put that on there. Or rather... Okay, that's fine. Oh, wait. Does something appear on screen when I do that? Okay. I didn't realize that something appeared on screen when I'm moving stuff with the touch screen. That's the first time I've noticed that. I guess... It's good for you guys to notice things, I guess. Let's go. Check out that arrow. I wonder what it means. Magic jars. Very good, Mr. Swordsman. You've already mastered using the Deku Leaf. But since you're so much heavier than we are, can you fly very far? Can you? Or you can't fly very far, can you? How unfortunate. Well, anyway, this is the exit that leads to the Forbidden Woods, where our brother Makar is being held. Please take care of Makar. I guess I have to, because he's an idiot who decided to just fall to his death. Hmm. There it is, the Forbidden Woods. So what is the Forbidden Woods? Big husk of a tree that kind of just followed the Deku tree out of the ocean. There we go. Filled with evil, vile monsters, chat. Congratulations, swordsman! It appears you finally got the Deku Leaf. That eerie looking island over there is home to the Forbidden Woods. A car is trapped somewhere within there. You'll have to float over to the entrance from here using your Deku Leaf. When you are flying with the Deku Leaf, you're at the mercy of the wind. If the wind can't carry you there, you'll fall into the sea before you land. If only the wind were blowing in the right direction. If only. Okay, make sure I face the island first. Okay, good enough. Oops. Oh! It 
doesn't automatically play the song every time. I didn't even notice that. That is like... That's handy. That's down in the amount of time of playing that over and over. Oops, I should have waited for the Cyclone some more. Looks like I can make it anyway. And they really added some good quality of life stuff to this. That or I'm just massively misremembering. Okay. Nice job, swordsman. Looks like you already mastered using the Deku Leaf here. Quick study. First thing you should do is cut the grass around here to replenish your magic power. The entrance to the Forbidden Woods is on a much higher level than the entrance to our forest haven. In order to get up to such a high place, you'll have to catch the swirling updraft. Can you see the updraft, swordsman? The updrafts around here move swiftly. You have to time your jump just right to so catch the wind that will fill your deck of leaf and carry you to the updraft, giving you the lift you need. Once you're floating up high, just let the wind take you to the entrance of the woods. Okay. Okay. Alright. Now I gotta wait for this thing to come. Okay. Uh oh. I thought I was gonna, like, just miss it or something. Oh, I remember these stupid pea hats. <sighs> Don't hit me. That would be really lame. Feels like I lose momentum when I drop the leaf. I thought I carried it. I guess I might just be used to Breath of the Wilds. Alright, here we go, chat. Dungeon 2. Forbidden Woods. They are super forbidden. Jelly! It looks sweet like candy. It must be dandy as candy. Yeah, yeah, first time picking it up. I know that Twilight Princess initially had really annoying crap when it comes to, um... Like, the first time you pick up, like, a green rupee, blue rupee, red rupee, it, it gives you, like, an introduction text to it. And I'm pretty sure the HD version made changes because everyone complained about how freaking annoying it was. Take that. Open the chest link. Open the chest link. There you go. Good job. I'm proud of you. You got a dungeon map. Check it on the Wii U gamepad. You're gonna have to. It's not like the gamepad can be used for, um... Can't be used for Miiverse. That's for sure. Doesn't it make you feel old, chat, to know that this game is nine years old? This remaster, anyway. I don't need to kill the green one. Pick up the thing. That smack of jelly falling down. You got a green rupee. There we go. There we go. Now, is there anything else in here I need? I don't recall. Oops. You old because your niece just started college? I feel that. I'm the oldest. I'm the oldest sibling, and I see them all grow up. Okay. Okay. Let me just hop over here. This thing replenishes magic. Yes, it does. Okay, that's good. That's honestly a very smart design decision. Oh, is there a little shadow that tells me where I'm gonna land? Was that... Is that remaster only? Because I don't think I remember that. Okay. If so, yeah, they thought of some good stuff here. There we go. From what I understand, they put a lot of good quality of life stuff for uh, this in Twilight Princess. And uh, not enough in uh, <laughs> Skyward Sword, apparently. Okay, there's a thing up there, so let's go over here. Uh-oh. Damn it. I bonked. Not high enough. Those, like, wig wiggling, like, thorns just spooked me as a child for some reason. They look just eerie. 
Okay, let's go over here. I see rupees up that way. Kind of harder to do the spin sword quick input on the new gamepad, honestly. Oh, joy pendant. All right, well, I guess I got enough now. Damn it. The jump slash works pretty consistent with thems. Them what? Thems. I call them thems. I just forgot, like, the rest of words. Okay. Just grab these. 320 rupees. There we go. I remember, I feel like I remember so little about Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess, so those are going to be really fun to play. Uh, let me see. Let me see. They changed the battery is low thing. I do remember that. Like, Fi would get just really annoying about, like, telling you that you're, uh... Yes. How do I get something over here for that? I guess I need to come back? I need to get bombs for that, don't I? I guess this is a chest I gotta come back to. Maybe it's rupees. Maybe it's normally a tingle thing. I don't recall. But I need something for it. Well, that's handy at least. Is that the- is Fi's thing the only thing that does that? And yes, her name is pronounced Fi. There we go. They even, like, there's even a narrator in Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition that mentions her by name. It's it's pronounced Fi. There we go. I just know when I play that game, I'm gonna get a bunch of comments that are like, No, it's pronounced B. No. It's not. You're wrong, internet. Goodbye, internet user. You're wrong. I like Link's expressions. They're good. Okay. <laughs> Look at that grumpy face of him. His... Okay. Like pie. Exactly. Double checking. Okay. Oh, look at that baby. Say goodbye to it. I felt so bad killing these things. They sound so squishy and lovable. But the game's just like, no, bad guy kill. <laughs> oh, how unfortunate. Okay. Here we go. Three rupees. Sketch. No catch. I don't remember there just being rupees about in this dungeon. Okay. Oh! Wow, we, we just straight up traded. I don't think I've seen that happen in this game before. That's funny. Okay, good. This was the one. I knew it had to be one of them here. Okay. Here we go. Hop down here. You can still, like, shoot blasts of wind even without magic, right? Pretty sure. Yeah. I remember seeing, like, the wind mechanic in this game, and I thought it was so cool using the leaf. Oops, wrong thing. I got a nut. Okay. Drop it. I see a chest down there. I gotta get that. I kind of forgot. Could be the compass. Oh, that didn't look right. Excellent. Compass. No, it's a red useless rupee. Oh, I can't get out up there without dropping into it, I see. Well, that's just a waste of time. The little pea hats are so cute. Yep, but we have to end them. Sorry, little Timmy, but you've been designated an enemy. <laughs> your sword's going through your... My sword's going through your face! I fumbled that. 
Oh, my point stands. Okay. I don't remember this place having, like, bright-looking rooms. Like, at all. Oh, yeah, I remember what you do for this. You roll it out of there so they can't do that. Oh, it feels so clever. I love some of the puzzles in this game. It's so neat. Okay. I remember liking Twilight Princess's dungeons. I just remember the boss fights felt a little underwhelming because they were kind of easy when you know what you're doing. Probably the only thing that needed, like, an increase of difficulty. There we go. Okay. Um, I mean, then again, boss fights in Zelda can usually be pretty easy for the most part. <laughs> Majora. There we go. Look at this thing wobbling around. I need a key. And I know I need a boomerang to cut that down there. Okay. There is nut. Deku nuts are huge in this game. Oh! I cannot believe I landed that. Like, I accidentally, like, went too far with that angle. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. I was totally prepared to fall on the bottom. Also, if you haven't noticed, uh, the door is, like, basically a Deku shield from uh, Ocarina of Time. It's a cool little detail. All these things. There we go. There we go. This up, please. You found a rupee. It wasn't what you were looking for. Again. There we go. Oh, come on, you. Climb, Mr. Climb. Probably the woods on a cloudy day. Whoop. Whoopsie. Can you follow me? Okay, one of these. Moved just a teensy bit too fast there, didn't you? Oh, I did it again. open this. Hang on, this is probably the key I need. I'm gonna get a drink here. Chat, I noticed you haven't been good bears telling me to hydrate. Are you trying to kill me? I'll save myself without you. Huh. I was kind of sitting cross-legged for some reason. There you go. To after I take a drink. You know, it's on cooldown. I'll get another one then. How about that? Can you redeem a stretch? Of course you do. I call out your crap. And now... Did I break that? Yes, I broke that. Alright, stretch. Ooh, that's good. Ow. There we go. I call all you out and suddenly suddenly you remember you, you're good again. There we are. Break this over here. Okay. I forget what to do here. Okay, I found the way forward. I just gotta keep looking. Everything is good. Everything is happy like a wholesome woman. Ooh. And this must be the key. You want health? I'll give you health. Hell yes, you will. There we go. Here we are. The subject of quality of life stuff, I do know that uh, the Link's Awakening remake apparently added a lot of helpful stuff, too. Which is good. What am I looking for here? First, I guess I'll just break this. Yellow rupee. Okay. Oop. 
I guess this is more of a way to get back to the start than anything else. Oh, okay, another joy pendant. Um, nothing else in this room. You can see where the chests are. Let's go. Keeps making one-time use keys. Doesn't seem very practical. Nope. By the way, chat, some time ago I did mention for doing uh, as part of the Zelda marathon, I mentioned playing Soul Calibur 2's uh, Weapon Master mode as just as just Link because I used to do that all the all the time when I was young uh, at my grandma's place, and people actually have been saying they want me to do that, so I might do that as a uh, as a game at some point. I mean, there are definitely more. There's only so many 3D Zeldas to go through, so we can only switch back and forth between the 2D, 3D so many times, right? And there's the pot. Okay. Not to mention, I want to have some space before playing, like, uh, a remake of something. There we go. Or rather, I also don't want to do, like, the Oracle games back-to-back. -back. Especially not right after Link's, uh, Link's Awakening. I will, de I will definitely use the passwords, though. I'm just trying to get a view here. Okay. Can I get up there, or is it thinking of... I'm on the fourth floor. Hmm. I feel like I missed something else, but let me hop on top of this. I guess this is fine to just... No, I can't cut this... yet. Can I? Okay, I can. I thought it would tilt, and I needed the boomerang for it, but... Uh-oh. Yep. Looks like I can't reach. Probably in... Oh, yeah, it holds on by one. Oh, wait, no, it's reattaching. I see. I do need the boomerang. Okay. Silly me. Alright, where have I not been? Uh, this direction. Because I got the key. Let's go there now. Want to see a playthrough of Hyrule Warrior Story Mode? I could probably do that. Maybe later, later, because I've played it so much. Actually, you know what I could do? Um, I need to re replay the story chapters eventually on Hero Mode anyway. To, uh, get everything unlocked. So maybe I'll do that. <laughs> maybe I'll just stream that or something. I don't know. Use all my godlike weapon unlocks. There we are. You fall down there. Sounds good. Just so we can watch the cutscenes and stuff together, I guess. And I can probably get demonetized for Sia. There we go. Jump. I mean, I haven't played Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. I mean, sorry. I misspoke. I haven't played Hyrule Warriors uh, Age of Calamity at all. So I could probably play do some of my first story stuff. Uh, I could stream that. There we go. Okay, there's stuff up there. Can I do that? Not right now. So let's go in here. Okay. Oh, that thing. I remember this. Like that. Okay, head to the upper floor. All right, Squishy, you gotta go. Excellent. Soul Calibur 2's Weapon Master mode is really weird because it's not even, like, Soul Calibur. What it is is it's, like, it's a text-based, like, adventure game where you go to different places on a map and it uses, like, like existing characters but gives them, like, different names. It's weird. It's like someone made like a like a role play session using like all the fighting game characters, and it's it's kind of it's kind of cool and fun. I could play through it as Link. <laughs> be, it'd be an experience, I suppose. Something unique. There we go. Ooh, I meant to roll. I guess I was still in the camera shift. Okay. So it looks like there's no nut to throw here, unless I gotta get it from up there. Which way did I come from? Not here, right? The moth enemies kind of freak you out. A little weird, aren't they? And this is definitely the boomerang room. Yeah, mini boss. Oh, you're about to get freaked out even more. Kind of has some Majora looking wings now that I get a look at it. Oh, okay, hang on. 
piss off me. Come on, I wanna get the pa I wanna get the parry. Ah, oh, darn it. I saw the thing for it. That's a regular enemy. Alright, it's dead. Huh. Big Teddy Dab on that loser. It has a gold feather for some reason, don't question it. Give me the goods. Why does my brain not recall using the leaf on this thing? I don't know, is there a second way of fighting it? Here we go. Okay. Uh... I guess we'll set it to R. I still like having the things available here, okay. Wrong thing. R button's good for this. On the original GameCube controller, um, the third item button was the Z button, and that the Z button was kind of weird on the GameCube controller, wasn't it? I didn't really like using it for items. I would just kind of set the useless stuff to it. I don't need to bother with this. Open. Okay, so I want you to cut this stuff down. So that you can, like, uh, glide across more easily. Pretty clever way to introduce you to using the item. And I just gotta shake it so I can... Oh, I didn't get them all. Okay. Excellent. You can either gyro or just, um... Do that. Okay. Get this. Another joy pendant, man. I really did not need to grind any of those for a bit at all. Thought I was just playing it safe, but it's fine. I don't think there is there any other use for them other than that one part. Okay. All right, now we have access to the bottom floor. And with that, was there any other chests around here? Let me check the map here. Oh, there's a chest behind me. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Did I need that? Uh. Crap. It says there's a chest back there. Oh. Serious? Come on, tag it. I gotta go back to the other room and see what that is. It could be a key, just in case. Just in case. Now where? enemies gone. It could be a kill all the enemies type thing. Just in case. If this is rupees, I'm gonna be real annoyed. guys off. Okay, that's that. Where are you at? Yeah, get out of there, you. Okay, summon a flower. Okay, it wasn't a kill all the enemies chest. Hmm. Top floor is it where it's at? Bring you joy. What, does it actually, like, increase your luck to have joy pendants on you or something? That would be cool, but I kind of doubt they put that in. 
Okay. Okay, it says there's a chest over here, but I don't see anything. Is there a breakable wall? Am I losing my mind? Is it above me? Wait, there's a grapple hook thing. Okay, how do I get up there? Not sure I can climb up that way. Oh. Okay, let me climb up. I think I can... Yeah, I can do this. I forgot about that. Aha, uh -huh, I see another one. Perfect. You know what else brings me joy, chat? Teddy Ursus. Did you know that about me? Did you know I like- Oh my god, seriously? Did you know I like the wholesome bear? Did you know that I care about bears? Of course you do. If you're watching the stream and you don't know that, are you even watching the stream? I'm on to you. Let's try this again. And this time, I guess I- No, it ain't but by mistake. Cool. Oh, that was weird. Let's do it again. Alright. Get what button I map things to again. This could be like the frickin' boss key or something for all I know. Hmm. Oh, jeez, that's weird. Okay. Yeah, now let's just hop on it. Like we should. And we hop on this. Like we should. I'm not gonna fall a third time. Oh, God. It's just a regular chest? What is this? What is this? Okay. Cool. Cool. Draw! Oh. It was a joy pen. I did not need that. Doesn't matter, I can take either way back now. Let's go. I played Wind Waker a bunch when I was young. We've done a real playthrough in like over, well over a decade, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay, so what does this do? Does it, I think that blowing that makes a gust of wind to send me back up, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay. Out of the water, it's probably poisonous. Yeah, it does. Okay, perfect. And the flower's there, so I can do that. Silly me for paying attention to the map to get a chest, and it turned out to be freaking worthless. Oh my god, why did it need to go all the way around? Well, it pays to know where some chests are, at least, for, um, randomizer knowledge, I suppose. Here we go. Not to be too hard on myself, though. I can always ask chat for help with randomizer chests. Here we go. Whoop. 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 Don't have to fight, you can't make me. Hey, chest. Probably just rupees or something optional then, if I can cut that down first. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. I don't remember all these random rupee chests. Are these, um... Are these originally, like, Tingle Tutor chests or something, and they just made them, like, clearly visible now? Okay. Yeah, they really should just put, like, the, eight, the two HD Zeldas on, um, Switch as well. There we go. I don't think hitting that with boomerang is going to do anything. Okay, hang on. Nope, that just sends it right back. It can't deflect. 
I think the two HD Zeldas and, uh, what is it, like, Xenoblade X are, like, the only things on Wii U that, like, that aren't, like, on Switch now. Everything else has, like, been ported, unless I'm forgetting something. Like, even Tokyo Mirage, I got, like, the Switch version of that to play one day. Um... Okay, so getting... Okay, I'm done with the chest. It's safe to cut this down now. Use that for using the bomb over there. And then I gotta use this as a boat with the wind. The Kirby Wii U game. Yeah, I have that somewhere, but I can't find it. I took the damage and just went for it. And no one say Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival because there's not a soul that's like, gosh, I really want to play that on Switch. I'm gonna die if I can't play Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival on Switch. That, that game is so freaking... <laughs> Come on, Link, grab the ledge. What was that? What was that? Okay. I have that game, too. I believe I streamed it once with Dylan. Maybe with their birthdays coming up, they're gonna want to play Mario Party or something again. Maybe I should invite them over for that. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm kind of laugh coughing at my uh, own... <laughs> jokes. That's a good sign. Okay. Is this the boss key room? Maybe. Uh-oh. There we go. Uh, feather? I guess I'll take that. It's probably a hundred, one of those things where it's like a hundred percent pickpocket chance. Oh, not you. Go away. I'll do to you what I did with your brother. Feels so bad because of that squishy noise. So do you, chat. Don't lie. Uh oh. Actually, rolled. Seed. Okay, just gonna open that up. Um, I have Star Fox Zero, but I'm pretty sure people generally don't really like that game very much. Um, that one was also really, really built around the Wii U, so I don't know if they could really port it as easily. There we go. Um, I remember playing that game, and I just, like, did not like it at all. There we go. See, I do want to play Star Fox 64 uh, again at some point. Well, I've never streamed that. It's been a long time since I played it. Yeah, it really relies on the two screens of the gamepad and TV so much that, like, it's kind of, like, annoying to, like, switch perspective for things. There we go. Plus, what also really annoyed me is that, like, it was at some point during, before its release, they... Like, the, someone literally confirmed that you could use a pro controller for it. And, like, an official, like, Nintendo rep at, like, an event confirmed that. And then they just kind of, like, decided to, like, uh, go against that, like, uh, some months before release. And I didn't get that memo, so I was kind of annoyed. But at one point, yeah, during development, it... Before it was released, they did confirm that, and then they unconfirmed it. <laughs> really annoyed me. Okay. I'm sure they probably could tweak the gameplay, but eh, I don't know. Story-wise, it was kind of just Star Fox 64 again, wasn't it? I don't even remember. You gotta- oh, damn it! I hate when I do stuff and it's for stuff I don't want. <laughs> That's something I kind of remember about this game now, the sea charts in the dungeons. <clears throat> Ow, coughing a bit. Alright, looks like that was the only thing in this room. Damn. Okay. It would cost them too much time and money to want to rework Star Fox Zero. Absolutely. Especially when it initially didn't do great, probably. There we are. I, I, something else that was also really annoying about it, if you don't mind me just bitching about this game one more time. Um... The character voices would only come through the would only come through the speaker on the Wii U gamepad. 
I don't think maybe they updated it or something, but like you couldn't change it at launch and it was really freaking awkward and weird. Like they wanted it to be immersive, but it's like, dude, my gamepad battery's dying. Just let me hear it through the TV. <laughs> okay. There we are. I know a lot of people were happy about that, especially streamers, because like they couldn't capture the audio. Here we are. Here we are. Pop you. Pop you. It seems like the bullet kind of gravitates to them. Perfect. The gooey bit's falling out. Okay. I gotta stand at the top for this to work. This, that's definitely the boss key chest. I recognize it now. Was there even a proper boss key chest in uh, Dragon Roost? I don't remember if it looked like that. Okay. go. Give me that. I got things like Captain Toad. I've never gotten around to playing. It's also been released on Switch. Captain Toad seems like a comfy thing to do on stream. Uh-oh. Oh, I hate that noise. Stop it. Oh, okay, I got hit anyway. Okay, what's the point of that if I get hit by it anyway? All right. Oh, there we go. Now it works. Damn it. Yeah, yeah, heal me, fairy. <sighs> Come on, really? Just just get hit already, jeez. Trying to do the parry, it's just not even like working consistently. Oh, they hit each other. Good job, geniuses. Okay. <laughs> Are you seeing this? I can't even hit him with my jump slash. What the hell's with this? The game was just all of a sudden like, what's with the combat? <laughs> Ugh. Well, whatever. Um, okay, looks like I gotta hit something. Does using their spears cut that? Oh, I see. I gotta do that. Pop. There we are. Perfect. Okay. There we go. Them jelly friends. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going back this way now that I have the, um... Yeah, I'm done with this little loop area. I can leave here. I haven't found another small key, though. Or boss key. Hmm. Back to first floor. Okay. Okay, I think I know how to get there, then. I just gotta do this. Oops, wrong thing. Nope. Wrong button, silly me. Yeah, I have to actually be on the thing for it to work, silly. Come on. I just fired another gust of wind at it. Get in there, silly. We are going to the top. 
Oh, yeah, I have the boomerang, so I'm going here now. Kind of forgot the boomerang opened some options around this way. And, yep, the boss door is just up ahead. I'm pretty much done with the dungeon. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. chest. I was wondering, because I clearly got my spin. I was wondering what would load the enemies dying. Oh, come on. I don't like you. There you go, chest. Another joy pendant. Damn. This thing has just, like, been absorbed into my neck. There we go. This dungeon really didn't need the warp pot, like, at all, did it? Uh, can I get another fairy from one of these? Hang on. Let me see. Yo, you're right there. Secret way to kill the boss? Yeah, I know about it, but it'd be kind of boring to do it. <laughs> if you bring forest water to the boss fight and pour it on the boss, it kills him instantly. I know about that. You know what I could do is just reset the room. You get the same fairy. The fairy is sad because it's now going to die and, th and suffocate in that bottle. Oops, wrong one again. Now there's two in there. Okay. Now let me just put my items back on my normal spot. Here we go. Is there even a... Is there even a bomb to break that? Oh, I need to burn it with the torches, I see. Oh, I don't need to do that. Let's fight the boss, chat. Posture check. Oh, yep. Yeah, sorry, did I miss that? And hydrate. I didn't see. There you are, little friend. He looks so squishy, but he's made of wood. He got eated. Let's get him. That's the source of those little tentacle things. taking too long to come back to me. Pick up things fast enough. Yeah, let's maybe aim at the thing, Link. Ah, uh, come on now. I was holding down L button and it kind of just decided to be like, nah. Even though it had the little yellow arrow next to him. I was so close to one cycle in it, too. Damn. Okay. It's really funny how easy some of these bosses are to come back when you have, like, the slightest idea. I talked about Twilight Princess, but no. Wind Waker can have some easy boss fights, too. I remember really struggling with the, uh, the, the third dungeon boss. Swordsman, are you one who rescued me? 
You have my thanks. When all went dark around me, I thought my time on Earth was over. But why are you here, swordsman? What, the great Decatree sent you? Ooh, that's right. Today's the day of our annual ceremony. I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be here. I must get out immediately. Yay. I know I was telegraphing close enough, but I didn't want the damage. <laughs> I was just trying to lock onto him at the end. Yay. Haven't fa have I found any heart pieces this whole time? I don't think I have. Uh... No, I haven't found a single heart piece. That's kind of unusual for this game. Or a Zelda game, I should say. Alright. Now let's get out of here. Do they make official Makar plushies? Look at the funny little guy. He just kind of wobbles. Like a little friend. Oh, Makar, you've returned safely. He's, um, he's completely static above my head. It looks weird. I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree. I know you warned us many times, but I still did not listen. <laughs> Do not worry, Makar. You are safe now. Just be more careful, careful from now on. You've done well, Link. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here is that which I have promised you. Please accept it. Is he gonna give me a thing? He's gonna give me a thing. He got Faror's Pearl. Do you say Faror or Faror, chat? I don't know. I've never been clear on that. The Earth Spirit, the Decatree, has seen fit to give you this jewel, a treasure of the goddess for Faror. It is my hope that this pearl shall lead you to a fair destiny. All is well, Makar, do not cry. Please play your songs for me as you always do. That's right. We must begin our ceremony soon before the day ends. I am sorry to keep you all waiting. Let the ceremony begin. You're gonna play a funny little song. Oh, great Link. As my thanks to you, I shall play even harder than I normally do. I hope you enjoy. Aw, that's nice. How does a leaf make that noise, chat? Watch them sing. That was it? They really needed him to play that noise. What a sight. Great Deku Tree, this year you have once again produced some splendid seeds. With these seeds, we shall continue to spread new forests across the Great Sea. Let us go, Koroks, to the sea. See you all next year. Take care. Farewell, great swordsman. May the winds of chance bring us together again someday. Okay. There go the Koroks. Every year after the Koroks perform the ceremony, they fly off to the distant islands on the sea and plant my seeds in the hope that new forests will grow. Forests hold great power. They can change one tiny island into much larger land. Soon a day will come when all the islands are one, connected by earth and grove. And the people who live on that great island will be able to join hands and together create a better world. Such is my dream. But the one you are chasing is trying to prevent that dream from ever coming to pass. Link. Already your fate is tied to the fate of this world. You must proceed with great care. Alright. A friend. Alright. Two pearls, and there's not even a dungeon for the third one. Okay.
Excellent. There goes Beetle Shop Ship yet again. Boat must get so bored just waiting there. Good morning! Letters for Link, we have one letter. Here's your letter. Dear Link, if you are reading this letter, you can only mean you've peeked into one of our post boxes. I am indebted to you. I'm very sorry that I let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. We cannot do much to help you, but we can at least do this. If we get any letters or parcel, we will deliver them to a post box near you. If you see any wiggling post boxes, please look inside them. I suppose you have a long way to go before your perilous journey is done. I've included a gift for you with my letter in hope that might help you. Please accept this small token. I look forward to the day we meet again. May fortune fill your wings from Kamali's father. Hey, piece of heart. Alright. Oh, I missed the boat. So this place, too, has been attacked by Ganon. Could he really be gaining his power? Regaining his power? Link, you must get the remaining pearl. It lies in a place northwest of here. We must set sail. Immediately. Alright, let's go. Where is it? Okay, it's marked on my map where to go. Northwest of here, meaning all the way on the other side of the map. Okay. Wind is already kind of blowing that way, so it's fine. I had better equip my bait or something. Let's do that. Heck yeah. Can't just send one quarter of a heart. You can if you're very careful about cutting it up. How's the postman know where I are? know where I am. Man, I can't talk today, can I? He just kind of does things. All the post boxes just have the same letters for me. It's, an, it's a connected system. I should probably... There we go, check the map here. I'm about to enter a new square. Take a look. Complete the sea chart along the way. He sent a letter in each box. That means there's a heart piece in every box. Maybe, but not quite. Ooh, I see that popping. Come on. Is this the private cabana? It is, yeah. Yeah, let's get ready to get the fish. Hey, we got him. Boy, small fry. Yeah, I heard, I heard. Open up your thing and let me give you a spiel about this place. Private Oasis. So tell me, Small Fry, have you ever heard of the golden set of Triumph Forks? It's right there, I tell you. The article genuine, in that house. You want it, you better go in there and scour the place from floor to ceiling. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Can't go fight an evil on an empty stomach. Yeah, bro, there's just one of those Triforce in there. Just go get it. The gulls are with me. The gulls are watching. Fixing this thing here. Uh-oh, it's raining. And now it's not raining? Okay. Weird. The seagulls are back now. I guess I just, had, like, left the square at the right time, I guess. Oh no, it's raining again. Alright, there we go. The weather decided to happen. Very realistic weather, I guess. Always rain by the squids. That's the case. I better make sure I got it open. Hang on. There we go. Make sure my boomerang's ready. I 
Are there any squids here? That looked like a giant shadow. Uh-oh. Rainstorms are cozy, chat. Are you feeling cozy? Cozy enough to hang around the squids? Is that another submarine? I guess I should check that out. I'm in a new part of the map. Where is the fish that gives me the thing? Don't mind me just going to kill him. What's he gonna do? Stop me? I don't think so. I have no idea if gathering extra joy pendants actually does something. It'd be amazing if it actually, like, um... Actually made it so that you get more, um... Like, better luck with rupees or some crap, but... I don't know. Where's the fish? I don't see it. I don't see no fish. Now, I definitely see a chest over there. Oh, what's the matter? You want to come get me? Want to come fight? Come on, come do something about it. Hey, look, got a toy. Oh, he did not want me playing with that. He really just sends you flying back far, huh? Let's focus on the dude I actually want to hit, please. Here we go, jeez. I love the jump slash in this game. I love how it just decides to not hit things. <laughs> okay, that guy just decided to walk right off. This is a little awkward, huh? Come on. No, stop locking onto the thing that's not there, please. Oh, that is getting so annoying. I keep jump slashing and it just like goes around them. Oh, there's another one. Okay. When will they learn? That coming out here is a bad freaking idea. Pick it up. Damn, that kills him three hits. Pretty good. Alright, looks like that's the last of them. Three rupees, I guess. Um, looks like I can hold way more than 300 rupees. I don't know what the limit is still. This better be good. Those guys were kind of annoying. I'm used to using Jump Slash, because in the 64 games, it does so much extra damage. Oh, nice. That was worth it. In this game, though, I, like the Jump Slash just doesn't hit enemies sometimes, and it's kind of annoying. Okay. The submarine's now abandoned. Anybody can just take it. Why not? Don't let me stop you. Torches in the submarine. Easy way to farm joy pendants there. Okay. I don't see the fish. Could be closer to the center behind. Perhaps it's over by the actual island. I don't think there's any heart piece to gain by checking that stuff there. I don't feel like ch ch uh, changing the wind. You can't make me. They're shooting bombs. I don't see the fish. Where is he? Come on, I want to mark this place down. 
Don't make me pull out the Wind Waker. Damn it. It's gonna make me pull out the Wind Waker. I think I see him over there. Damn. Why must you be just against the... Just against the wind. No. No. No, he's right there. Don't make me change it. I refuse. I refuse! There we go. There we go. Gimme. You're almost there. Come here. Now tell me about this island I have no intention of exploring right now. Tell me. Boy, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I know. Six Eye Reef. Funny little island names. And shapes. You got a whole shop over there on Windfall Island, a nice outdoor shop, you know that? And in that shop, they got this really fine safe that looks to be brimming with full of riches. Or brimming full with riches. And they just leave it sitting outside day and night. Tell you, one of these days that thing's gonna get hauled off by a thief. Mark my words, small fry. Of course, if I were to find a thief in the act of thieving, I'd stop the perpetrator right there and catch the rat red-handed. Sure if I did, the owner of that shop would thank me, yet he'd be happy. That would be the honest thing to do. That's all the info I got. Alright. All these fish gotta go fight evil, apparently. Now then. Now we go... west for a bit. I'm as north as I need to, need to be. There we go. The chart's getting filled out. You can catch a glimpse of my chart when I'm filling it out, I guess. I don't think there's any, like, full reward. Like, I don't think there's any, like, particular NPC that, um... Gives you anything for filling out the entirety of the C chart, right? I can't... I don't recall that being the case anyway. Hang on. I need to go a different direction. Now the wind's not doing it. Yeah. Both these are probably fine. It shows the direction on the gamepad as well better, so that's good. Hey, full moon. Oh, no, no, it's not full moon. It's an almost full moon. It's a full-ish moon. Alrighty. And now, the sun has risen, chat. Oh, and all of those things just popped into existence to ruin my damn day. What a start. I really don't want to be near them. Okay. For now, I don't know what that is over there, but I don't need... Wait, I think that's Tingle's Tower. That's what that is. I don't need to be there right now. I got a heart piece and an extra bottle from exploring right now, so I'm pretty good. The fish ain't nearby, is it? It's probably way closer to that thing over there. On the other side of the tile. I don't need to bother with it right now. Look at them seagulls coming with me. Look at them little friends. I imagine that seagulls probably follow vessels because they think they can get food from it, though. I mean, I guess it makes sense because, you know, it's something sticking out in the middle of the frickin' ocean when everything looks the same. Here comes a storm cloud, chat. There's the fish. And there's some treasure. Let's get some stuff. So I guess, yeah, they sp they really sped up the time it takes to pull up treasure. I, I wonder, I think I remember hearing that the randomizer added something like that, too. 
Because I think the randomizer also put in... Okay, over 400. Good. Didn't the randomizer also add the swift sail as well? Oh, okay, you're just gonna put me a cutscene. Link, Link, look, do you see it? What has happened to this place? Great fish aisle. Whoa! Looks like it's been roughed up. What's the meaning of this? The island, it's... We are too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jabun once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Probably related to Jabu Jabu. Oh, oh there, Link! It's that guy. That guy. I think, like, what's his name? Quill? They say his name, like, once in the whole damn game. So you're here. I've been looking for you. Me by chance seeking the great spirit, Jabun. Sorry to report to you that Jabun can no longer be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this, too, is the work of the Shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not. Jabun was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He's in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island where you were born. On Outset. Yet even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jabun. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the, the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Link. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought for the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky that they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. If you wish to see Jabun, I think you better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is! Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Baloo must have been right when he asked me to bring word of Jabun to you. He called this island Cursed. I would I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to, but that is your decision. I have told you of Jabun. My task is complete. As if, it, if it isn't obvious, this guy kind of fills the role of, like, the owls from the other games, kind of, doesn't he? There we go. There's boats here. What was this island before? Is Beetle... Oh, Beetle got, like, a little torch there. That's what that is. Like his ship was on fire. I don't recall if there's, like, anything here at all you can get at the moment. Where does that cave go? I don't even recall. Can I even climb up? I think, like, you need to come back with, what, the hook shot or something? To get the- to hook on the trees? I've never- don't really recall coming back here very much for stuff. So Jabun has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. It must- he must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. Posture check. Hydrate. Hang on. If we're to believe the words of the Rito Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jabun hides. Why don't we first go to Windfall and search for them? I've got no warps yet. I can't get warps. I'm pretty sure I need the bow to unlock that. Alright. And Windfall is there, so I gotta just put the Wind Waker out. Oops. There we go. used to be scared of endless night events, now you find it super cozy. It totally is. Everything is cozy, right? But no, hmm, I accidentally hit the bait button. Man, I just need to, like, keep that not equipped at all, because holy crap, that's annoying. Wait, is that not Beetle? Is it, what, what is this? Looks like his ship's actually on fire. No, that's just the horn with the torch. It looked like it from a distance. Well, what do I know, I guess? I couldn't get... I didn't get the fish. It's whatever. I'll come back another time then. I don't need to 100% the sea shark, but, you know, fill it out when I can. 
Now it's dark and stormy, chat. It's a dark and stormy night. Make sure you have your, um... Is that not the special beetle? I don't know. I don't even remember anything like that. What was I saying? Why is there no temple at this part? I'm, I'm pretty sure this game was, like, actually rushed at the time. So they did- there was, like, some stuff cut from it, I believe. There we go. Should I go to Tingle's Tower? That'll be fun. Where's the fish? I don't see him. Oh, I see him over there. Okay. Let me get him first. I better pause. I'm about to pass him. Don't mess up. All right, what is he gonna tell me about Tingle? Tingle's towers is kind of hilarious in this. Oi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Yeah, take it in one chart and information, huh? And start by opening up the C chart. Tingle Island. Let me tell you something about that island over there, small fry. The guy who lives there is named Tingle, but he won't grow up and act his age. He still dresses like a little kid. That is not normal. So from what I hear, he can decipher maps like nobody's business. This goes to show you that you can't judge a person on appearance alone, fry. Of course, the thing about this Tingle guy is that when it comes to pay his deciphering fee, you better be ready to fork over some serious dough. Anyone who doesn't have a deep wallet won't be reading any maps, that's for sure. And that's all the info I got to offer. You want to hear it again? You have to do that. You can't go fight an evil. No! Oh! I pressed the wrong button. Oh! My finger slipped. Give me a break. Using the same bait. Don't they make premium brand this up? Such is life. You want to hear the info? No! 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 I hate when that happens. Come on, gamepad, let me switch. No, why did you get out of the stupid thing? Ooh, that there. Put that there and don't question anything again. Where's the island? Golly. Let's have a look over here, why don't we? Blue jelly. This probably tastes like cotton candy. Keep it in your spoils bag. Ooh. Save it up. Good evening. Letters for Link, one letter. Here's your letter. If you wish to be a true swordsman, find some knight's crests and return to me, Orca. Got a red rupee. Doesn't surprise. Okay. Let's go up here and have some fun. Check out that thing there. So, welcome to Tingle's, like, uh, labor tower. Why do it, does this even need to be turned? Oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Next time, bring one of my favorites, a chart I haven't seen yet. Please, sir, just bring me one. Goodbye. Please come visit me when you have the, the stuff. Mm-hmm. Eve. Oh. Oh, this is heavy. Between you and me, this guy has another brother. That guy could just come spin this thing instead of me. Eve, ho. Um. You have a tingle bottle, do you not? Uh... No, if you're not really a fan of it, do not worry about such things. The Tingle Bottle is sort of complicated, I suppose. No, no, do not go out of your way, no, really. I mean, it's quite amusing, the Tingle Bottle, I mean, but no, really, I would not expect you to. 
Eve. Oh, I mean, I literally can't use it, so... Can't be helped. My face is... you. Northern Fairy Island, increase your fortune! Let's go to Windfall first, though, chat. All right, now we wait. I wish we could get some real rain where I live. Instead, it's just muggy and gross. I want to sit with a cup of hot cocoa while it storms outside, playing video games on a handheld. Oh boy. And the dialogue made more sense about the Tingle Tuner, so they didn't change it at all, they just made it just about the bottle. They swapped the word and that's it. I want rain, I want snowstorms, and I want cocoa. I'm gonna sit with a plushie and play video games, and you can't stop me, chat. My cozy levels will exceed dangerous levels. Windfall's just up ahead. We gotta go there, though. I'm gonna have to do the rope swing thing again, though. I remember that. button, silly. It's so comfy to be like that, chat. Why wouldn't it be comfy? Just sit and be comfy. It's all you gotta do. What's that? It's Beetle Shop Ship. That's not a special one again, is it? No, it's just a light in the dark. Oh, there's a ship. There's a chest there. Visible one. Hang on. No, the special one has like a painting, right? I think I remember it now. It has like a different thing painted on the side. I'm sorry, can I like climb? Yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> why wasn't that working? Oh, thank you. I appreciate your business. If you have anything you want to sell, I'll buy it off you, or would you prefer to buy something? He doesn't really have anything right now, huh? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna just buy more of that now. Because I'm gonna waste Bye. more, you know I will. <laughs> What's going on here? Wait, what? I walked right out into the cutscene. That's... That, that was really, really weird. I didn't even know that was a thing that could happen. Was that why I couldn't climb the thing? Because I was, like, in the cutscene? Huh. It is just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing attention to the ta uh, drawing the attention of the townsfolk. I'm pretty sure they notice anyway. I know not what they are researching, but they are hoping to get their hands on Jabun's sacred gem. I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Link, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without them finding out about you. <laughs> hmm. Now, isn't there, like, missable dialogue and stuff during this part? I don't remember. Can I do anything in town at all? I can't get the, the song right now. The dude's not here. Like, what is it, like, the bar's open, or is everything just closed? Pick near. What a terrible weather we have today. Little boys shouldn't be out wandering around at a time like this. Um, uh, while I'm in here... Oh, can I not show her this yet? I guess this doesn't work right now. All right then, let me just check here. Boop, boop, boo. There we go. I think this is when like there's all actually people in here, right? <laughs> you have to play hide and seek for it first. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You're right. 
Oh. Oh, there's actually a cutscene for it? Weird. Is it true that pirates have invaded our little peaceful island? That's terrible news. What am I supposed to do if they come to my coffee house and start raising a ruckus? Yes, your coffee house. That's what sailors love, coffee. It's true, 100% true. I've seen it myself, a stern looking pirate ship sailing full speed toward this little town, I'd swear on the sea. Hmm. Oops. Now let's say just for a moment that pirates actually did come ashore. What would they want with a peaceful village like this? Tell me that, laddie. Ah, nothing better than a cup of refreshment at your local cafe after a long day's work. Absolutely nothing. I'm telling you, those pirates were just looking for a little relaxation. You don't find cafes on the high seas. There we go. Have you heard? There are pirates here on the island right now. Well, that's what they say anyway. Me, I don't believe it. Okay, can I read this? Okay. I can't get back there. All right. Sailors love coffee. It's the only thing they come ashore for. Um, I don't know if there's really much else I can check that's different right now. I think that's pretty much it. Shops just function like shops, really. All right. Closed today, so scram now. Let's just head over here. Pretty sure auction is closed during Endless Night 2. Okay. Can I get the swift sail now once it's uh once I clear up this part? Ooh, there we go. Why you gotta jump during that link? Now, this right here is just a hazard. You're gonna get all that rainwater pulling right in. Look, don't be mad at us. It's not your fault we, that we absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yeah, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over the bit of fast talking you pulled to get the information out of the po out of the postman. Huh? Oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that link, I knew he was hiding something back at outset. Yeah. So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. Presto, he spills the beans. Good work, Gonzo. Really, just top-notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking that this may be the first time you've shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra's smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. You, you idiot. Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves and get those bombs back to ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. What? Miss, we have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss, is what I mean to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So what say we sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? Treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's in for a night of fun? You're all fools, you know that? You saw the demolished island, you saw the senseless destruction. 
We have to hurry on to Outsider. The same thing could happen there. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're worried more about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, the treasure. All right, fine. Have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. But we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in. You understood? Please. Aye, aye. Say there, brother. What was today's password again? Mako, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so freaking useless. Today's password is Chumily. Yeah? Remember? You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. He's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's password is Chumily. Yeah? Chumily, eh? Did you hear that, chat? What do they say? I could help this guy, but I apparently cannot. Instead, I can go back here for no reason. Ooh, red rupees. Ooh, hey, more rupees. Man's getting robbed twice tonight. Password is but I am most certainly sure that the password was not but. Very, very sure. Okay, that's that. I guess I ain't getting bombs. Later, bro. Have fun. <laughs> I am very sure that chumily is not a real word. But it could be, for all I know. Chumily sounds like one of those words that could end up just being, like, uh, uh, hip with the kids ten years from now. And then this will just age really badly. Probably gonna have to type it in on the gamepad. How do you treat a shark? Enter the password with the gamepad. Yep. Okay, it was... Chum... Il oops. Chumily. Right, right! You may enter. Okay, put the stylus away. Hey, you can check out Tetra's room now. She got this huge room where all the other pirates even, like, sleep. So who was this? Kinda looks like it. Kinda looks like it could be. I'm really clear on that picture, like, at all. Triforce thing. Nothing here. Except that. And that picture there. Oh, Link! My old swabby Link. So you're alive. All the other pirates said you'd got done in by that bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress. So I thought. Never mind what I thought. You're alive. Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder, which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating stuff. Guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. All right, why don't we set you to your next test, huh? This one is harder than the last. Good luck. You'll need it, swabby. You can see the lanterns hanging through the room, right? Well, last time, when you pressed the button... Platforms rose up for you to jump onto, right? Yeah, well, this time there aren't any. Which means you have to jump from one rope to the next. Pretty tough. And that's not all this time. I've put a gate on the door, too. The switch opens the gate, but it'll close if you don't get here before the time runs out. Run out of time and you'll have to try again, little swabby. Ah. 
the switch that opens the gate is on the same place as before, so go step on it. Get all the way to this side before time runs out. I'll give you the bombs we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Give it your best shot, Swabby. Okay. Let's see if I can handle this, chat. Let's get comfy. Let's get comfy like a teddy. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I have no sense of perspective, apparently. Okay. Hmm. You just uninstalled all those rising platforms. Yay. Oh, come on. Just decided to lose all the momentum there. Ah, I remember really disliking this one. Okay. Yep. Let me go to the first one. This time, lower myself. I gotta wait for this thing to come over. Can't believe I made that this time. Okay, I gotta go down. Ugh. Enough distance. There we go. What? You gotta be. You did it already. You're so incredible. This isn't good. I've never even passed this test. How could he do it so quickly and make it look so easy? If I give it to this him, give this to him, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Okay. Um, you're the best swabby of all time, so I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Okay. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious, really serious, okay? HD is the gave the ability to turn while swinging. Oh, you couldn't do that in original? I don't remember. Okay. Oopsie. Open. I saw the button prompt, and <laughs> it wouldn't work. All right. You got bombs, you can carry up to 30. They were clearly still at the shop, though. Using bombs while on your boat will give you a mighty cannon you can use to fight off Seago and enemies. Set them to that, 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 or that. It's mighty courageous of you trying to steal treasure from pirates. In GameCube, you had to full stop before you could turn. Oh, it's so annoying. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I get- I have to guess that you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking about how badly things could go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did was because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend to use those bombs, anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jabun's treasure, too. Right now, Jabun is hiding in the cave at the back of the island you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in with a breaking the without breaking the door down. We're gonna relax in town to eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer. We'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. You managed to find Jabun tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You better be quick, kid. Wow, awesome. You have a stone just like the one Miss Tetra has. Hey, how do you use that thing? Can you talk to Miss Tetra through that? Man, you're so lucky. All right. We got bombs now, chat. GameCube, but definitely was jank to swing. Okay. 
Oh, he's gonna roll bonk on the stairs. I hate that. Remember, chat, we have a very strict time limit. A very, very strict time limit. If we don't get there before the end of the day, it's, it's game over. We lose. Uh, where was my boat at? Not there, clearly. I think over here, I guess? Yeah. Beetle's shop ship is over there. Well done, our preparations are complete. If what the girl says is true, the pirates won't be leaving till morning. You must meet with Jabon and get the pearl from him before they arrive. Let us delay no longer, Link. Okay. Check the map. I need to be going south all the way, but yeah, about this direction. I have a quick input for the cannon now, that's good. There we go. I don't remember what you do to make that thing, that like chest over there appear. Because it's uh, the endless night storm, ah, uh, you can't, uh, you can't get the the song that changes uh, night to day. Cause the dude's not outside dancing. I'm pretty sure you can come back to Windfall uh, before going to Forest Haven, right? We have a long way to go. It's all the way, every time it wants me to go anywhere, it's at the other side of the frickin' map. Okay. Oh, there's the big cyclone. I want to stay away from that. Uh-oh. Actually, it could warp me close. Actually, the big cyclone has a chance of warping me closer to the, um, to outset. I'm gonna go for it. Might be stupid. But, let's see. Outset's literally at the most southern part of the map, and I'm, like, close to the mo mo uh, most northern part. Oh, this is gonna be a bad idea. And there's the treasure, guys. Too late. Fish is over there. Come on. Here he is. Foolish creature who does not fear the gods to the end of the sea with you. Let the winds of Cyclos wrath blow you away. Yeah, you can't hit him with bombs, right? I'm pretty sure you can't. It only works if you use the bow. Yeah, Alright, hydrate. Let me do that. Ah. Delicious. Okay. Link, are you alright? Wait, what? He didn't... Where? I'm in the same tile! <laughs> it would seem the wind god Cyclos bears some ill will towards humans. As you go forward, it would be wise not try not to get sucked up by any cyclones you see upon the sea. But if we could find a way to harness the power of those cyclones, it might be possible for us to travel across the ocean instantaneously. You do not yet have an item that can pierce distant targets. If you did, you might be able to obtain such a power. Keep that in mind. Oh, now it loaded my map position. I'm actually, yep, yeah, I'm close to outset now. That was handy. First, let me see if I can uh, get the fish here. Yeah, there's the fish. There you go, buddy. Gotta go, friend. Have a wholesome night. I'm gonna go a bit longer here. Oi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I heard. I take it you want to chart an information about this island. Start by opening up your sea chart. I like how it just freezes like that for a, spec for a second. You unlock the butt island. It is definitely a butt and nothing else. Listen up, small fry. This is between you and me. 
On Outset Island, buried beneath the black soil, there's some serious treasure. I know it sounds like I'm trying to pull your leg, but I'm serious. Try digging there. What? You haven't got anything to dig with? I'd, I'd say try using an animal or something. Work smarter, not harder, small fry. That's all the info I got. Alright. And that was the last chunk of bait for that, so I don't have to uh, waste any more by mistake. Is that a wiggling post box again? Okay. Southern Fairy Island. There's four fairy islands. And they have the same function as the Great Fairy Fountains, where you go to them for an upgrade. Now, can I get in here because I have bombs? I'm pretty sure. Let me just put bombs on. First, uh, this. Oh, I should put the leaf on, too. Good evening. Letters for Link. We have one letter. Here's your letter. Notice from Beetle Shop Ship. It's time for our semi-annual Big Chance extravaganza. We have a new product that has burst into the scene. Bombs! We're having an extra special sale on this choice item for a limited time only. You know where to find us by checking the enclosed Beetle Shop Ship chart. Visit a Beetle Shop Ship near you today. Offer not available in all regions. Don't miss this huge opportunity. Beetle. You got Beetle's chart. Now you know where to find Beetle's floating shop ships. Because I am in, in such a rush to visit him right now. Oh, I threw it way too far. Drop. Okay. Either bombs or fire arrows can break that. Oh, it's like 2 a.m. for you? All right, you gotta sleep then. Get cozy. And the great fairies look... There we go. They're very strange in this game. Young waker of the winds. Allow me to aid you in your quest. What does this one give me? You can carry more bombs. Well, I guess that's fine. The fairies in this fountain will shall ease your weariness. When you grow fatigued from your battles, come here to be refreshed. All right, remember, chat. I visited the so the southern one. I don't need this. What am I doing? How fancy it is. Where's my boat? I thought I was here with a boat. Gimme. Can't hit that. There's my boat. Alright, we're not too far away from outset, so let's get over there. Set sail. No, close that. There we go. I keep getting tripped up by the controls because my brain keeps somehow going back to like what I remember on GameCube. Like I keep trying to press the equivalent of where the Z button is to open up my sail and that's why I keep throwing bait sometimes. I'll take 60 bombs, that's pretty good considering I literally just got them. I don't remember how random it is getting hit by the cyclone in it, um, but it certainly took me to the right spot, didn't it? Oh. Oh, that's one of those important islands, okay. Well, we can check this, I guess. Hey, leave me alone. I'm just a child. The squids are lagging the game. And I got treasure. Watch me open it up, it's gonna be something good. I can still hear the noises overlapping. Purple rupee. Well, it's something. I think the Northern Fairy Isle, because the sign said increase your fortune, it's probably something to do with um, increasing your wallet size. There's a lot of spots over there. Do I want to waste my time on that, though? I'm probably going to fill up my wallet, so I'll probably leave it alone. Hi, Beetle. Bye, Beetle. Man, that part of the ocean was really lagging all of a sudden. 
And I have a fairy in a bottle right now, so yes, I can, um... I can use that to do something. And now we wait. Almost back, chat. We're almost home! I'm pretty sure during the early portions of the game, like Dragon Roost and I think for Forest Haven, you can't really explore too much in the ocean. Like, if you, if you go too far off the course, I'm pretty sure the King of Red Lines literally stops the freaking stops you from going forward and is like, Hey, where are you going? You gotta go over that way, buddy. You can't be exploring this direction. I said we going south, so we going south. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Ouch. Alright, chat. There we go. How many bottles are in this game? Looks like there's four, according to this list. There's the fish. Um, but I already have this listed on my seat. Oh, okay, we're just gonna jump me over here, fine. Have you noticed, Link? Morning has not broken since we arrived at Great Fish Isle, the land that was so ravaged by monsters, and is as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Baloo spoke of. Whatever the reason, if, the, if night, this night does not end, then we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. I'm pretty sure... Time still passes. You're not going to fall asleep forever. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long journey. We can speak with Jabun after you do. Okay. Hmm. I don't need to talk to Tutorial Lady. There's a rupee there. Give me rupee. Four ninety-nine. Hello, Grandma. I'm home. It's me. Okay. He does that until you at least arrive at Forest Haven. Yes, then you can hop back on and get exploring anywhere. Oh, um, Link. Her. Don't go. Don't leave. Don't leave your poor old grandma. All alone. I'm right here. You gotta go? Alright, see you later. Have a good night. Oh, Link, is that you? Grandma's always happy to see your bright, shining face. Link, my dear sweet Link, you're safe. That's wonderful, just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Oh, that's right. You you and your sister are trying so hard to be strong, and I've just been sitting here moaning and worrying. I'm your grandmother. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm sorry, Link. I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. Posture check. Gotcha. Link, this is all I have to give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. You got elixir soup. This healthy soup your grandmother makes replenishes all your life energy and magic power. Your attack power also doubles until the first time you take damage. Now that's one hearty soup. Your kind old grandmother filled your bottle so full that there's two helpings inside. Isn't she the sweetest? You and your sister love this soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it for you anytime you like. Grandma's gonna try to be strong, so you have to be strong too. That skipped on its own. But don't do anything reckless, alright? There we go. My dear sweet Link. Whenever you have an empty bottle, you can bring it straight to Grandma. You can make more soup whenever you like. I'm so happy. Hmm. Okay. Fish is over there. Hello, beetle. Goodbye. Wow. Wow. How did that happen? What even happened there? Are you ready? If that's the case, we must search for the cave around the back side of Outset where Jabun is said to hide. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's get in. 
You heard the boat. We're going to backside. There's a pot up there. Why? from here. Well, I got 60 bombs, so I should be okay. There we go. Kind of lagging, though. Hm. Almost. There we go. Well, that was easy. I just had to get around the back. I remember that being a lot harder for me when I was young. We did it. I don't even remember what this guy looks like, if I'm being honest. How does the Rito Postman even know he's here? He just kind of conveniently knows things. Hello. Well met indeed, Jabun. I'm pleased to see you are safe. Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. Unfortunately, that is not so. The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. And yet, I, said, I sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. I do. It is the only way. It's in the lantern. Got the Zora Sapphire symbol. You got Nehru's Pearl. The water spirit Chabun was kind enough to give you this jewel. A treasure of one of the goddesses. All right, we're gone, I guess. So that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. I believe I have. I believe if you play on New Game Plus, where you get to have the outset uh, outfit, all of the all of the old language is fully translated to normal English, or the language the characters are speaking. So you can read that stuff on New Game Plus, which is interesting. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jabun gave us. So morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all the pearls. Are you ready, Link? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on your sea chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in its proper location, the proven grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jabun has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the per perils ahead will be greater than any you faced thus far. You shouldn't finish. You should finish any business you have on outset right now, so that you shall not have any regrets later. Well, there's nothing else to get there. Oops, I'm heading to the edge of the map. I can't go that way. Okay. Yeah, we want to go this way. All right, so now we have to go to the three islands to set the pearls. And not much we can do except... Wait for how long it takes. I believe it's after this dungeon I'll have the ability to unlock the, the quick warp. Hmm. Yeah, no temple for this part. Just a... A really long... Adventure across the sea. 
No, other way. There you go. Really long adventure across the sea. I got lucky and the cyclone took me pretty close to outset, though. Purple rupee. Oh, uh, yeah, it capped at 500. I thought so. Oh, well. Wallet limit is so lame. Like, you're telling me I can't hold, like, one more rupee, but if I happen to find, like, an extra ball and chain in a dungeon, Link can just carry that crap in his pocket as a freaking weapon. Okay. Windfall's all the way at the other end, end of the, uh, at the map, so I can't really just go to the auction house right now. Ooh. We just run back and forth, back and forth. You know, what's that? Okay, it's another one of those. I filled out a decent chunk of the map so far. Okay. I might pass a fish in this tile, so I'll get it if I can. Morning should come soon. And then we can hear the ocean music again. Oh, there's a big cyclone. I, I'm going to stay away from that island. That's what I'm going to do. Because I do not want to get hit by the cyclone right now. That would be real annoying. There's Beetle Shop Ship. Big treasure trove. Looks dangerous. Imagine being out in the ocean and you see that abomination. Well, I mean, I'd be scared crapless if I saw a freaking tornado, too. Oh, I was uh, scratching my nose. I didn't realize I bumped into a squid. I don't know. I've never, I've never seen a tornado before, but damn, that sounds like it'd be scary. I've seen the damage they can do. Okay. And then we gotta go up here. <laughs> I definitely gotta make sure I get, like, the swift sail next time. Because that will be handy, for sure. What is it? Does it give you, like, double speed? I don't remember. I see you popping into existence over there, friend. Hello, Koja. Welcome. Yeah, it's been fun today. Jump. Oh. More cozy rain? I see how it is. Cozy rain for the cozies. Okay, that thing's there. I don't want to deal with you. Where's the fish lad? Surprised how easy it is to get 500 rupees in this, because I've been making a conscious effort to even, like, uh... I see the fish jumping up there. Move. You're in the way! There you go. Time will remain frozen. Give me this stuff. Boy, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I heard. I hate how they all re repeat the same start and end of the conversation. Southern Triangle Island. A famed uh, pictographer, pictographer, lives far to the north of here on Windfall Island. He's apparently real wise and talented in the ways of pictography. He even said to have legendary pictographs that he treasures above all other things. He keeps them hidden away in a secret safe, or so they say. By the way, small fry, what exactly is a pictograph anyway? That's all the info I got. You want to hear it again? Do that. Okay. Oh. Let me just do this while I'm damaged. There we go. Trying to hang on. These things are in the way, so I'm pausing it. I'm making sure I unequip the bait so I don't waste more of it, because you know I will. You know I'm gonna accidentally hit the button again and throw it away. Oh, not high enough for that. 
Don't mind me. Just gonna ignore the pea hats. Hello, child. Wandering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddesses. Place the pearl you hold there. Ooh. I sure do hope nobody comes comes around and takes it. Two pearls remain. It sure would be pretty bad if somebody just happened to stumble on by. Okay, let me just check the map. All right. First, let's just do this. Um, yeah, we'll just head over this way first. Let's go. No, does anybody ever like fighting great sea enemies? Turn away. Wait a second. Go this way, silly. Go this way. Just want to get away from those guys first. I've got a fairy. I'm not worried. What's really annoying is how, like, uh, stuff on the map screen on the gamepad opens up on its own, and it blocks out the, like, the full map. So you have to manually tap it again to close it, and I hate how it automatically opens stuff. Like, it's like, come on, don't do that. I literally don't want that. Okay. Seagulls. Sea hats scare me. Oh, yeah, they're called sea hats because the normal enemies call the pea hat. I get it. That's clever. That's funny. Maybe no, no one will, uh. Th like, the statues just hold on to those pearls aggressively, I suppose. See a fish in this tile? Nope. them shadows. Big cyclone, or no, little cyclone, I mean. Keep away from me. I don't see Triangle Island in the distance. That's like Forest Haven over there, isn't it? That's something. No, that's... Where is it? I don't see it. Okay, it's directly ahead here. It just hasn't popped into existence yet. I guess it's that tiny. I hate how a lot of the enemies just kind of show up and you can just kind of glide past most of them. Like, they're literally nothing. Oh, there it is. There it is. Jeez, it wasn't even, like, low, like, popping in there at all. There's these lads here, too. Yeah! yeah. Mighty fine boat you got there, bub. You must be searching for treasure on the seafloor, too, aren't you? <laughs> you will like, you won't get any from us, bub. Not likely. Let me ask you something real quick. Who wanders around on a fishless sea? I'll tell you who, bub. Only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves. And maybe some other things yeah, I've never heard of. Wait, there's no fish in the Great Sea? Aside from those chart ones. Huh. So, nobody just eats fish in this, in this world? Must be pretty damn hard to keep food around. You know, with all the weak island dwellers who never leave their shores, I'm amazed to see such a tiny little guy out here. I like your style, bub. I feel like I've known you my whole life. Say, so hey, bub. Tell you what, as one treasure hunter to another, I'll give you this. You'll definitely be needing it if you want to haul up treasure. Go on, take it. I won't take no for an answer. I also won't take nay, nope, or nar. Just grab it. You got a treasure chart. 
Open this chart on the map screen. A place where treasure will be lit up. Sail to the area and then use the chart to find treasure. First, open your map on the Wii U gamepad and then compare island charts to the right treasure chart and left to see where the treasure lies. You press plus to pause the game. You can take your sweet time pouring over the charts. After all, haste makes waste. And use your grappling hook while on the boat to haul up treasure. Those grappling hooks. Nothing hook pulls up treasure like those things. Well, little treasure buddy, good luck to all of us. Happy hunting. Bye. I like that synchronized by, they say. Okay. Hopefully I can get some hearts so I can stop the death beep. Yeah, there. Where is... Let me open the treasure chart I got so we'll show up. Light will show up. I mean... There we go. So, funny thing about these uh, statues with the pearls. They're actually a Pikmin reference. You notice the first one I went to, the blue one, it had, um, it had like a little mouth thing. It's, it's meant to look like a blue Pikmin. This one has ears, and it's meant to look like the yellow Pikmin. And I'm pretty sure the other one has a nose like red Pikmin. One pearl remains. Here we go. Hang on, check this. Reach Bomb Island. Okay, I already got Bomb Island in that. Didn't someone on Windfall say they were fishermen? I could have sworn they did. I require health. No, not magic. Hearts. Love. A bomb. Oh, there's one. Finally, jeez. Now I can stop hearing the beep. What's that over there? Nothing, really. Okay. All right. Now we change the wind so we can get to the last statue. Yeah, it's about here. I can't quite recall for sure if I heard someone talking about being a fisherman on Windfall, but sounds probably right. I mean, what do the sailors do other than travel, then? And looking for treasure. Probably deliver cargo between islands, I don't know. Ah, I need a drink there. Okay. Wait, is that a fairy island? I should stop there before I go, uh... It looks like the shell... No, I think that's Tingle Tower. Oh, what? No, I'm in the wrong... No, that's way off, sorry. That's definitely a fairy shell. So let's stop here and get whatever upgrade it is. Hard to believe after all this time, I only got two freaking heart pieces. There's the fish. Yeah, it's a shell. Get this part marked off on the map. There you go, buddy. I wonder... I feel like it's um, a lot easier to get the fish's attention, because I feel like I'm, I miss it all the time somehow. Boy, small fry. There's a lot of heart pieces tied to sea charts. I've only... I've only obtained three of them, though, so far. Oh, what, what, it doesn't matter. Eastern Fairy Island. We're in, like, the northern part of the map, though, so it's a weird... That is where the eastern one is. Where it is, they hold an auction every night over there on Windfall. Every night, the people gather in the Hall of the Wealth... Hall of Wealth to amuse themselves by spending a little money. Ah, the rich. Most are on Windfall. Oh, that's funny. Auctions may be a race to see who can bid the highest, but I'll let you in a little secret. The key to winning an auction is to be both patient and bold. I'm serious, Fry. From what I hear, they get some great things up on that auction block, too, like an extra fast sale, among other things. Maybe that's just a rumor. Just try it out. That's all the info I got. No! Didn't 
again. Set sail. And let me just pull this back on. You know what I realized I should do, chat? I haven't saved in, like, uh, at all today, have I? I should probably do that. There we go, continue. Yeah, you absolutely need bombs for this. Pick up? Oh no, I can't pick it up. Oh, hang on. Let me get the blue jelly. This shell looks different. Take that. Alright, let's fix the thing here. What's this giving me? <laughs> Young waker of the winds, allow me to aid in your quest. Give me the thing. Well, that game's not out yet. I haven't played it. There we go. Oh, what? what? Bombs again? Okay. You can carry a maximum of 99. A, it's a little overkill to just get. I got bombs like an hour ago. <laughs> the fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness. Okay, then. Max bomb cap already. I didn't realize two of them were for bombs. I thought 60 was going to be, like, the hard limit. This seems, like, extremely overkill. I don't need 99 bombs. I won't even need to think about bomb drops for, like, the rest of the damn game, I guess. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. I can get C-charts from these things here, too, I think. Probably should just stop at this one since it's in the path. I just want to I just want to get the last pearl down for now. Actually, hang on. I'm pretty sure I can with the boomerang here. Oh, no, I need to use the bombs for this, don't I? Let me just cruise on over. I'm hitting the enemy up there now. Is that all of them? Hang on. Put him on fire. <laughs> all right. So I'm pretty sure for killing all the enemies, it counts, it counts the cannons, because people are in there. The thing that always bugged me about these little structures is, how in the hell did they get built? Like, how? Somebody just, like, sail out to sea with, like, a giant log, and it just happened to go deep enough to hit the sea, sea floor? Like, how do you build these damn things? Taking that. I have stolen their goods. They are useless to me now. And there's a treasure chest. So this could either be... I hope it's a sea chart. At least. I doubt I'm going to get a heart piece directly from it. <sighs> wow, that's somehow, like, worse. Like, come on. Couldn't give me anything better than that? That's just, like, a waste of freaking time. Again, imagine doing a randomizer and having to check the entire... Like, using the settings that where you have to check the entire ocean for chests. That's like the Triforce-like hunt. <laughs> just on maximum settings. I'm pretty sure those little shine spots can only be rupees, right? I don't know if they respawn or not. I actually don't remember. I can't. I don't. I'm pretty sure they're one time. 
Let me check the map here. Let me turn a little bit. Maybe go in this way. I see the island, I think. Hmm. They do, I think? I'm not quite clear on it, so I don't know. Hmm. This'll do. And that's definitely the last island. I remember this part of the game... Oh, no. Please don't let that hit me. I remember this part of the game took me, like, an, like, a, like absolute ages to get to, to when I uh, played it for, for the first time. But, like, um... Playing it now, like, this is the second episode. And I'm already this far. Okay. Put the bait on. I feel like, yeah, they're a lot more generous with, uh, the area, like, area of radius there. With, uh, getting the fish guy, compared to original release. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Open up your sea chart. <laughs> Northern Triangle Isle. Let me tell you something, Small Fry. The school on that Windfall Island has one gorgeous teacher. Thing is, this gang of four little hoodlums always causing her trouble. Those little delinquents like to cause all sorts of trouble. They go climbing trees and hiding behind buildings instead of going to school. What a bunch of what a bunch of savages! Somebody's gotta scold those scoundrels and set them straight for the sake of that poor teacher. You hear me, Fry? That's all the info I got to offer. You want to hear it again? You'll have to throw some bait in the water. Hmm, okay. I keep pressing the button, and then I just immediately do that. Well, all right. What's that? Oh, that's the treasure hunter, guys. Do they give you a new sea chart every time you see them in a different area? I don't actually know, because I didn't really bother too much with that stuff back in the day. I just kind of got annoyed doing the sea chart stuff. I didn't really need a lot of heart pieces or want them. Yeah, look, this is the one got the nose. Red Pikmin. Wandering traveler who seeks the guideposts of the goddess. Place the pearl you have here. Hmm. Hmm. And now they shall be set free. Alright. Place Din's pearl in the ancient statue's hands. Running back and forth like this really is kind of annoying, isn't it? Y'all right there? Run! Huh? Oh, I guess it's fine. It does seem like these, like the three spirits here, their designs are do seem like loosely based on uh, the goddess named characters from like the Oracle games. You only see a glimpse of them in this game, but it, it does look like it. Basically does that to knock you right to the to the entrance. I could have drowned out here. I could have drowned and died. Whoa. They have the names of the goddesses? Yeah, I know. I just mean I meant like visually. I think like aside from like the statues in Wind Waker. And the cameo in Minish Cap, that's like the only time like the Oracle Games goddess designs have like kind of like appeared again. This tower, which the pearls of the gods have caused to appear, is a place that the gods of the ancient world prepared so that they might test the courage of men. 
The gods sure did make like 50,000 of those things, didn't they? Only one who is able to overcome that tri the trials that await here will be acknowledged by the gods to be a true hero. Only then will that hero be permitted to wield the power to destroy the great evil. Link, that which might you must obtain now lies before you. You must believe in your own courage, which has led you to triumph over the many hardships you have faced, and you must triumph once again. You must rise above the trial of the gods. All right. So let's get inside, and we're nearing three hours, so this seems like a good place to, uh, to stop for the night chat, I would say. <clears throat> directly north. In we go. Tower has risen up. Get ready to cruise in here where there's no wind. Power of the gods. Okay, I'm not too worried about this dungeon. I remember it being, like, uh, pretty easy to get through when I did a randomizer. There we go. I remember some of the puzzles, too. So let me just hit save here. To title screen. Alright, chat. This was our second session of Wind Waker. That was pretty fun. We're making good progress. Oof. We'll go ahead and stop it here. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good night. Bye-bye.